Hey guys, Davison here. I'm irritated at the lighting of my new place because look, the way that the light bounces, I'm like kind of in shadow from here below and then overlit. Whatever. Um, I've never been one to be an expert uh, or set up my webcam optimally. <laughs> Making excuses for myself since, uh, I don't know, I started streaming in 2010. <laughs> I've, I've used just my computer's webcam. Uh, since 2010. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update about the Ian Rafalco, Dr. Berg situation. I know a lot of you here are subscribed to hear more updates about that. As you know, I didn't go into the Ian uh, story as wanting to make my whole channel about that. I am a creator. I have multiple products. While I do actually have some crossover in term of, terms of my interest with Dr. Berg, I'm all about the keto diet, uh, you know, um, integrative medicine, functional medicine, regenerative medicine, alternative solutions to health problems. And I've made actually many videos on this channel, the thousands that are here about that. Um, and I, I only actually published that that video, which I did edit together because I thought it was such a shock because I've been following Dr. Berg for years. And then once it became apparent that it was such a, a hit, and Ian invited people to re-edit this hour and a half long video he had uploaded, uh, uploaded story about his experience with Scientology and his family and Dr. Berg. Uh, I, I just kind of ran with it. Um, I, I decided to like cut a half video down into a series and maintain the success of the original um, um, video that I had made. Now, I'm still annoyed, and but I understand that people keep saying you're just ripping Ian's videos and re-uploading them. That is absolutely not true. If you look at the original video that he made that was like well over an hour long that I cut down into the series, I added music, I cut out his dead air, I rearranged it and worked it around. So each, um, each short was uh, topically coherent and consistent and, and easy to understand. Um, and I, I did well for him, I think. I did well enough that people have appreciated most of the videos in that series. That said, since then, Ian did go on um, Leah Remini's podcast to discuss his experiences um, being in Scientology. It was less so about his relationship with Dr. Berg and more so uh, about just the problems with his experience uh, of Scientology um, itself um, and the problems of Scientology uh, itself. Um, but, uh, and then yeah, Ian kind of held off on publishing videos because behind the scenes, he's been working on a case against Dr. Berg, where Dr. Berg, according to one former, one former employee was, uh, coercing his employees and maybe even requiring them to take Scientology courses, uh, which has nothing to do with their roles, um, as his employees. And I think violates certain labor laws because you can't force a religion on people, though Dr. Berg's argument has been that he was he was employing um, occupational training instead of religious teachings. But I think, and as I heard, he settled that case out of court. I hope I'm making sense. Nobody has said a damn thing since I started recording, which is, it, it, it does it, can the audience say something? Because when I start talking and I get like no chats, it's a little like I'm throwing myself. Um, so yeah, so Ian was helping behind the scenes to corroborate what the woman was saying about his father and his mother's involvement in Scientology and their health business that they run. Um, and th that case ultimately settled out of court as I recently received notice of in an update. Um, and then since then, Ian published one more video about uh, Islam and his treatment of an Islamic um, I don't want to say coworker, but co-member during the context of his um, employment at the Church of Scientology. And I'm torn because I could edit that down because it's a three minute video available on his TikTok. But I don't know how much longer I should be reporting on Ian's story. It's his story. Right. And this channel, I can't not be myself. I'm sorry. I'm going to start a new channel as I showed you. Maybe you didn't all see it about um, medicine and science called regenerative anti-aging. You can subscribe there. And I'm going to continue to be my creative random self here because that's me. I also have a third product that allows me to survive financially, which is the uncensored versions 
of all my creations. And if you don't understand why I do that, you don't understand how little YouTube and TikTok pays its creators when it comes to short form video. And I have decided to focus on short form video, not necessarily longer form. I'm capable of doing all of the above. Um, but um, yeah, uh, I would appreciate the comments here to not be um, rude because I won't display them if they're rude. Um, literally don't fucking minimize me. I, I, I think anybody with a brain can appreciate that I have one and that I'm kind of like pan talented. And if anything, it's hard for me sometimes to pick like how many things I'm going to focus, am I going to focus on because I'm capable of focusing on creating a, a very broad range of things, especially at this point in my career. So I don't know, I'm throwing it to you, but I'm kind of telling you guys, I could upload another Ian video. I also didn't upload my, my, opinion or reaction video to the Dr. Berg lawsuit. Um, I did upload a short about it, but I had made a longer video, but I didn't edit it yet. But how much longer should I continue this? Because like my channel is not Ian. Like if you want to hear straight from the horse's mouth unfiltered, you got to go follow Ian at Ian Rafalco on all platforms, because I am not Ian, though I invest a great energy into trying to support him being anti, you know, the abuses of Scientology. And this is not, my channel is not a Dr. Berg smear channel. However, I've, I feel like there's, I have an obligation as a human being, a parent ethically to hold him accountable for any ills that he might've done in his life. It's, it, it, to a certain extent, it's none of my business, but I think Dr. Berg is so smart that he can do better. That's my opinion though, but maybe he's super indoctrinated and I don't even know how bad it is. According to Ian, it's pretty bad, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, um, it's hard. Also, too, I just I get so many dingbat, wingbat, shitty ass comments here. Like, oh, you were attracted twenty years ago. Fuck you. Okay, I'm attractive now. I'm not fucking twenty, but that does that mean I can't make sexy videos or creative, interesting, funny videos? Like, I don't know. Whatever opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them. But I I can't keep making this channel too broad. I also feel like Ian's story is his own. I also feel like. How many years am I going to keep reporting on Ian? What, what is the mo my motivation is to support him and to hold Dr. Berg accountable, but I don't know how much longer I should continue this. And I, I, I don't want to lose you guys, but if you like alternative medicine content, you should probably follow my new channel, which as I said before, and I'll put in the chat is regenerative anti-aging. And it is thematically consistent or going to be compared to this channel. This channel is going to continue to be my varied, creative, edgy, funny content because that is me. And I, I'm tired of being apologetic about who I am as a creator. I, I, I enjoy what I do when I'm being more varied. And if that means I'm less popular or people don't get it, well, then fucking I've chosen to be an artist and I'm going to live with that. But um, I don't know that Ian's story has as much place here. And I want to direct you guys to where it's happening, which is his material. It's not mine. It's not my story, but I'm glad I supported it. I'm glad I met all of you guys. I still might edit his talk about how Scientology encouraged him to mistreat uh, a Muslim Scientology member and force that member to not fast during Ramadan. Um, I don't even know what Ian's wishes are at this point are quite frankly either. I mean, I think he sometimes doesn't want too much attention on himself. This is my opinion. This is not from his mouth. This is mine. So um, maybe he values the fact that somebody else has told his story with him. Um, but I think he would still value having people following him directly on his account instead of here. Um, anybody, anybody say something, please. Cause this is, it's brutal live streaming and having no one say a goddamn thing. <laughs> Hi, if you're just joining, I was just talking about the Ian series and the future thereof. Um, I wanted to direct everyone to his channel, Ian Rafalco. Uh, I will probably upload my opinion 
uh, or reaction video about Dr. Berg facing that former employee's lawsuit. Ian put out a video about his experience with mistreating an Islamic member of Scientology according to the instructions of his superiors while he worked at the Church of Scientology. Um, I feel that my channel is more about me as an artist and being creative. I don't want anybody leaving me inappropriate, hateful, harassing comments. I delete them. Um, I'm just coming out and saying like, I feel like Ian's, it's time that Ian took flight on his own. I don't know that I should be reporting on him for the next 10 years. I mean, I could, especially if Ian was like, please keep supporting me. I, I absolutely would. Um, but um, that's not who I am. I mean, if you like medicine, like I said, go to my new channel, Regenerative Anti-Aging. It's going to be about science and medicine, like Dr. Berg, which probably got you here in the first place. But this channel is me. It's not about him. And I feel like I don't want, I don't know if Ian wants me to continue to report on him. He didn't say he didn't. I think he's valued everything I've done um, to support him and to get the truth out about his, the way his, the problems with his father, because his father does have good things about him, but his father clearly has problematic things. And uh, as for how that deep that goes, as I said before, according to Ian, it's pretty bad because of the way Scientology indoctrinates people. Um, yeah. So any, anybody, anybody else, any other reactions before I let you go? Because I think I've said enough and I've got work to do on my new channel, Regenerative Anti-Aging. I have to make another short and I also have to upload some more stuff to YouTube. It's hard being misunderstood as an artist. Like also people sometimes take me too seriously when I'm being funny or sexy in my videos. Like people are so hard on women that dress provocatively or make provocative and funny content. It's, it's, it's quite psychologically damaging to hear a lot of the reactions. They're horrendous. You know, you wake up and you're like, yeah, you would, this video would have been good 20 years ago. Or you just need to start a family. What the fuck does me starting a family have to do with me uploading a video in a fucking cat costume? Like, why are you projecting all this internalized sexism, ageism, and anti-feminism onto my fucking videos? Like, get a fucking, but not everyone's as smart as me, so I, I feel sorry for them. But whatever, I don't provide enough context. Uh, maybe I should assume responsibility for that. Or they don't understand my, the spirit of my creation. Is this slightly to the end of the bell curve? You're not going to be as popular in culture, popular culture. Because they just can't follow. <laughs> People want really narrow, fo narrowly focused media that's consistent about like one thing, and I am not. Wow, this has been the biggest failure in terms of the number of audience interactions I've ever had on a live stream. Y'all are saying nothing. Is everyone dead? Are you here? Is this thing on? <laughs> no, no one wants to talk to me today. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess maybe you are all at work. That's why. Sorry, not sorry for being a real creator who hasn't sold out. <laughs> or who doesn't narrow her focus into a niche, turning myself into a product because I'm a fucking robot. Okay, I'm not just... Um, I want to rail against being a fucking robot who has to follow this narrow set of rules in order to be respected by the system, the corporation, the individuals. You need to push boundaries sometimes, you know? What's up, Mojos? Nobody's fucking saying anything. It's like, God, it's rattling me. I said, I said very fair things, lucid things earlier in this broadcast. It's weird as a creator because the opinions of your audience simultaneously matter and don't matter. And as an artist, it sort of simultaneously matters, but doesn't. I think it matters in the sense of economic success. It also sometimes validates the quality of your work, but sometimes the audience hasn't caught up to you yet, or they're not your core audience members, or they're initially reacting poorly. Well, I guess that's back to not having caught up to you yet. And then later they will develop an appreciation of your work. Did you know Escher, the artist, was not appreciated during his lifetime? He was only appreciated 50 years after his fucking death. So, because he was too ahead of his time, 
he was, it was not consistent or coherent stylistically with what was popular during that time frame. Um, have I consistently produced work to the quality of Escher uh, of, on this channel? No. But is some of my work underappreciated? Yes, it always has been. Or misunderstood? Absolutely. <laughs> Am I misunderstood? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> it's just funny to watching people like oh, okay thank you mojos yeah it's regenerative anti-aging no it's no problem it's just it's just jarring when you know you have all these people watching you and they're not saying anything you're like am i making sense or do you value this broadcast yes my new channel is regenerative anti-aging my ambitious probably Unrealistic goal is to publish at least five videos a week that are all high quality, well researched, uh, evidence based medicine, not conjecture, though sometimes it's warranted to talk about things that are breakthroughs that have yet to be substantiated. Also, there, a, a lot of things in medicine are, are criminally understudied and because there's no financial motive to study them, but yet they're true. Like, it's amazing to me that in terms of red light therapy, there haven't been any clinical trials yet of red light therapy to testicles to increase testosterone production. There's only been small studies um, because it's such a cheap, non-invasive and effective solution, but it's non-pharmacological. So that might be the reason why. Um, It's hard having one of the greatest successes on your channel be not about what you're about. I continued with it for a very long time. It's just, I don't know that I should continue the series, to be perfectly honest, because it's not me. Um, even though I would, like if, like I said, especially if Ian were to give me his blessing, maybe I should ask him, like, do you want me to still report on you, Ian? Um, but if without his blessing, I don't know, like, what am I doing? Cause I'm not going to be about that all the time. He's given me permission. Um, I just don't know that this is that I'm, I'm helping myself or helping him. I mean, I think I sort of am helping him and I think it's good to get the truth out about Dr. Berger, if not the truth, cause I, what is the truth? It's a little subjective. Hold Dr. Berger accountable for things in his life that may be problems that he's kind of unaware of um because I, I think once you're indoctrinated you don't know that you're you've been sucked into something that isn't reality right that's what cults do to people they brainwash them and that's sad because dr berg's excellent in so many other ways like i i Absolutely. He helped me. He helped me understand the keto diet, vitamin K2, D3, so many things he's right about. He's not right about everything, but he's right about a lot in medicine. So it's such a tragedy that he's got a weird religion or weird belief system, but it sort of makes sense, as I had said before, because because he's an alternative medicine doc doctor, it kind of makes sense that he's into alternative spirituality, but that but Scientology is very problematic alternative spirituality. And there's much, there's a, a boatload of evidence to support that statement. Anybody else wanna have any questions? I still admire Dr. Berg's work, even if I don't admire what I heard about the way he's managing his familial and spiritual life. To be nuanced about it. And I'm not trying to destroy Dr. Berg, but hold him accountable. And defend Ian, because I do care about him as a human being. Ian's pretty fucked up from what he went through. 
Dr. Burke helped me too, but he's just a human under the microscope. We're all a little fucked up. Fair. That is fair. Uh, some more than others, though, to also be nuanced and objective about that. Um, I mean, what is fucked up is sometimes subjective. But I think... I don't know. Being it, Scientology it, at its core is very hard on people. It's psychologically very demanding to excruciating and that's a problem and did not and saying that our normal human reactions are abnormal and that we need to be under this constant state of control is really unrealistic unfair and traumatizing um dr berg no doubt is incredibly disciplined incredibly consistent incredibly controlled incredibly meticulous and and maybe Scientology expecting that of him encouraged him to be that way. So there are some good things weirdly about the teaching of Scientology, but it also is goes too far emotionally and it ruins families, encourages a culture of shunning people, reporting on people, writing knowledge reports about people, ratting on people, being super judgmental. Also believing this like science fiction reality of like your souls are older and Xenu and I don't even fucking understand all the, 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 the nonsense, you know, and then something about the moon and I don't even, I don't even understand it. Right. Extraterrestrial. So it, it objectively. Okay. So back to, we're all fucked up under the microscope has reasons for being hurt. Dr. Berg has not addressed those. Or redressed those. It was a bombshell that he's a Scientologist. Like a motherfucking bombshell. That's because I just was like, oh, what? Oh my God, no. And also too, it was like, no, one of my heroes is fucked up. But it makes sense. But God, that sucks. It sort of makes sense the more you examine it. But God, why? I'm pretty sure Dr. Berg's watched my videos by now. <laughs> Hi, Karen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think what I've said about Dr. Berg is pretty fair. I haven't been like, he's a terrible human being. He deserves to, you know, rot in jail. I think that he's got to fix his issues. Some people never do, though. I, I wish, I hope he, he realizes that Scientology is extraordinarily problematic to bullshit on some levels. I don't know whether or not Scientologists have been trying to attack me, to like tear me down because they're mad at me. <laughs> in my like weird like the weird comments that I get like degrading me as a human being might be from them because they they tried to do it to Ian they try to do it to everyone they do these psyops so I just like delete and block people I'm like this is fucking weird like just leave me alone like what kind of a deranged person do you have to be that the moment a woman wears a cat costume you're like you need psych psychological or psychiatric help what because I wear a fucking costume and have fun is fun that abnormal in our society that you think I have psychiatric issues for being playful, have you sh give your head a few shakes, boy. And men all also too resent women the moment they're both sexy and humorous simultaneously because it's threatening. And once you're sexy in front of a man, you kind of disarm and Muchi also resents. But neither here nor there outside of Scientology. Um, since sometimes in some of my videos, I'm fucking joking or following a stupid ass. And I know I'm going off topic from so I should publish you my reacting to the Dr. Berg lawsuit it's been updated the article since then to probably make sure that what I said is um yeah yeah yes nobody got my Julia Fox video I'm so sad maybe it'll be appreciated later on when she does something crazy I'm hoping she does something weird with a lemon so that people can find that video <laughs> She's just like that. That's why I brought it up. 
Yeah. Good. There's so many pop cultural references now that I think it's hard for people to keep up with or realize that if something's weird, it might be because someone's referencing something they haven't heard of yet. And there's only so many hours in the day, right, to devote to this shit. You're supposed to curl up and die and not have fun on videos once you're 40. You're not supposed to be fun. You're supposed to be a housewife when you're 40. You're supposed to not want to be sexy if you're a woman and you're, you have a boyfriend. You should wear big black sacks all the time. You shouldn't make people turn on because that's offensive. Be a good girl. Do what I want. Validate everything I believe morally. Well, I have nothing against housewives, Renee, at all. I'm just not one. I could never stop working or creating. I'm, I'm too much of an artist rebel. It's impossible for me. I, I, I'm very ambitious. Um, I was more prolific prior to this year. I, did, I was quite sick for two months at the beginning of this year. And nobody knows this, but I had a recurrence of my central serous retinopathy in my right eye, which is where fluid builds up at the back of your right retina. It's better now, um, but yeah, so I haven't been able to do quite as much, but I'm getting back up to speed. Um, I, 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 I'm not opposed to having a family, but time be running out on that biological clock when it comes to me. I already have a son. I have a boyfriend, but me and my boyfriend have only been going out like a month, so. Um, and he has to want that too, right? And him and I, you know, not, him and I are fine, but n neither him nor I are perfect. So to optimize that would be ideal before starting a family. And who gives a fuck? Why, why is my, my job is not to reproduce though. The people have left me really weird comments. It's not my point in life or my sole purpose. Any further thoughts, Renee? Thank you for talking to me, Renee. I know Mojos is working, so he can't. Um, it helps during a live because the purpose of the live is not just for me to talk in like a line and not interact with the audience. I don't know why I'm thinking random things. Like a hoe is a woman on the internet that makes a man resent that he's aroused in her presence involuntarily. An internet hoe, I should say. Just a passing thought. Men resent when women have power over them. Or that they employ that power, but I've said that many times before. Do any of you have any opinions about Ian or Dr. Burke that you want to share with the audience? Can you guys hear me?
damn it. My fucking mic went off. Can you hear me now? Fuck. Fucking fuck. Are you kidding me? When did it go off? Fuck, thank you. At least you're telling me. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have been like. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me now? I'll just wait till you guys tell me and confirm that you can hear me. Okay, good. Fuck, it's because I fucking hit the button on my stupid ass microphone, see? And if you hit the button on this side, the sound turns off. And I must have done that when I moved my screen. I have no idea when I cut off. I went on to like a full ass rant about me being a left-leaning libertarian and having more in common with Renee than she thinks. And that I was not denigrating Renee. I didn't mean it in, a, in, a, in an insulting way. I'm sorry if you took it that way. I, I more was resentful of a commenter that insisted that I should be making a family instead of being an artist or that as a woman, I'd be happier or I'd be more in line with my true nature or true obligations as a human being if I started a family. Meanwhile, this fucking commenter doesn't realize I have a fucking 21 year old son who's almost 22. I have a boyfriend. We've been going out for a month. My fertility window is closing. So if I want to have a baby, I got about, mm, I don't know, two, three years max left. And then that ship has probably sailed. Um, and also it has to be stable between me and my boyfriend. And we have to resolve issues uh, before it's a good idea to introduce a child into this crazy society we live in. Also, I was saying, Renee, I, I, I agree with you about starting a homestead because I think there's something fundamentally imbalanced uh, about uh, the way capitalism has, has forced work culture on all of us. I, be, I mean, I agree that we should be productive and live with purpose and be socially helpful as human beings, but a lot of the unhappiness and, for instance, 30% of people being on antidepressants is due to us living kind of unnatural lifestyles for the sake of the big dollar, yo, Capitalism, yo. I throw f bombs a lot. You missed my whole rant, and now I have to, you know, fucking <sighs> repeat myself here. Let's see what's going on. People are probably gonna hate my recent video. <gasps> Stupid fucking whore, you fucking slut bag. Um. Oh my god, I was wearing a cat costume. Oh my god. Someone call the police. <laughs> Davison was wearing a cat costume and she's older than 35. There's a problem. Okay, okay, well, I'll address that in a second, F.A., just one second. I, I, I addressed this earlier in the broadcast. Part of it may have gotten cut off because I was having issues with my microphone. Uh, by far, one of the most annoying things about the new YouTube studio is that you can't see all your comments. You have to like click away. I responded or I didn't respond to the comment. It's stupid. I wish they would just show me all of them and then I could select if I wanted to see. I haven't responded. The default is I haven't responded. Anyhow, you guys would only know this if you used YouTube studio content. I'm just checking out the, my current performance of my short. Okay, three likes. That's not bad. No hateful comments yet. Denigrating me as a human being for daring to be pro provocative or sexually appealing. Um, <laughs> or dressing up in something that isn't a full body covering like this. Um, okay, so who cares if Dr. Berg is a Scientologist? He has the right to choose what he believes in. Okay. The reason why it matters is because already we have one of his family members claiming that they are traumatized as a result of their father, Dr. Berg, being a Scientologist. Plus, objectively, there are problems with Scientology. It ostracizes 
its former members and cuts them off from their families of origin. It, according to Ian's recent video, attempts to deny people the right to practice or fully believe in their religions of origin. Religion itself is subjective, but any group that denies faith-based practices or tries to recondition the person is suspect. Scientology is also extraordinarily emotionally difficult on its members. It holds people to a very high, unnatural human standard, and it charges its members exorbitant amounts of money to practice and tries to manipulate them and abuse them when they leave. So yes, it matters that Dr. Berg is a Scientologist because I want to hold him accountable for his failings or maybe shake him up and make him realize that he's part of, of what objectively is a cult. And um, while it may have had some benefits Scientology because it encouraged him to be more disciplined, more proactive, uh, have more emotional control and self-regulation, it hurt his family and it denies our the val validity and value of our emotions. Um, and, it, and I think him and Ian need to make amends. I think it's destroying Ian that his father fucked him up. I think Ian does love his father who doesn't love their parents, but when they fail you that much emotionally, it fucking matters. Ian, Ian has had trauma and abuse from the church and maybe otherwise. Um, and I don't think Dr. Berg may have done some of it intentionally. And I was this, but that said, I don't disparage Dr. Berg's body of work. I was a fan of it. That's why I started this series. I think Dr. Berg's done some amazing work in alternative medicine or comprehensive, integrative, functional medicine. He's done great work. I'm not denying him that, but obviously there's a part of his life that we didn't know about that needs addressing. Have I answered your question? Not all of this broadcast has been as stellar as this part. Maybe I will cut up or, or um, edit this video prior to releasing it because I went off topic several times. Hello, Ant. How are you, sweetheart? I'll wait for your reply. Got my coffee. The other day when I recorded the cat videos, I had a Red Bull. And since the recovery from my neurological illness, I have only had Red Bull a couple times, but this was the first time it felt like it did before I was ill. Like it gave me a really big boost. It's been a while, Aunt. I remember seeing you like a couple years ago. Has it been like three years? You've been here three years, right? I don't go live much. I'm just so I've, I've had to balance so many factors of my life lately, like my new relationship, starting my new series, my health, my parents, my new life here, fucking, you know, setting up my new house. So uh, FA says maybe other religions do the same, but we don't know because nobody complains. In I think there's problems with most religions, right? Let's be honest. And, or the practice of them by the new church leaders. Like remember homosexuality used to be a sin, which was completely stupid or, or it was insisted that it was until it wasn't. Um, also I believe materially the nature of the universe is far more about energy and quantum physics than it is about a monotheistic God or a, an overarching ruler. Um, I'm not a physicist nor an astrophysicist nor a quantum physicist, but I would head more in that direction as opposed to this monotheistic uh, narrative style parable induced God. Yeah, I thought so, Aunt. I'm glad I remember you. I lost weight recently. I'm back down to 140 pounds in that range. My my the, my illness had made me gain weight. Uh, I was up to 163 or four at my peak, which is way too big for my size. Though I didn't look fat, I just look thick. But now I'm getting closer to like 
the original Davison, albeit a little bit older. But I can't stop that, but I'm going to try with my new series. I don't yell at my microphone. That's why I do keto, because it is anti-aging. Carbs, from what I understand, and I need to put out a video on this, glycolysis is harder on the system than is ketosis. Ketosis at its worst can be hard on your kidneys if you have too much protein. Um, always look healthy. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not always healthy. <laughs> I have a bunch of weird ass health conditions. I have, an, I have a post-viral neurological syndrome, which is much better. So I get involuntary movements. Sometimes I get aphasia where I can understand, but I can't speak. So expressive aphasia, not comprehensive aphasia. Um, I have central serous retinopathy in my right eye. I should make a video about that. People don't know that I get fluid that builds up in the back of my right eye. And it's correlated with every time I've gotten COVID. So I think I've gotten COVID twice. It happened to me the first time, much more, albeit in a much more severe way. And then recently after I think I got COVID at the beginning of the year, I, I had a flare. So I have to see the ophthalmologist again in three months. But it doesn't... It doesn't affect my my vision that much because now it's it's pretty small. I only see like a silver shadow whenever I blink my eye. Uh, but I was photosensitive and had eye pain for two or three weeks when I was sick at the beginning of March. Yeah, well, I don't think I really have a choice, Aunt. Like my illness taught me resilience, which I already had, but I mean, it just strengthened it. I'm, I'm like the Phoenix, like the logo of my new series, the Phoenix half risen, go into the fire, burn things down. It makes you even more powerful in your rebirth. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. There's truth in that. But I mean, I think I've always been a tough person or I wouldn't be able to handle this fucking career. That's so self, um, driven. I really wish I could sit in front of some of my doctors that saw me when I was sick. So they would fully understand how ill I was. And I could tell them, you know, you really should have believed me. I was right about it everything. And I never lost insight. I knew when I was functionally impaired. I told them too. I'm like, I think I've lost 20 IQ points. They're like, how do you know that? Uh, because I knew how remembered how intelligence I or intelligence intelligent I was previously. We believe you may be really intelligent. Yeah, but I was when I wasn't, didn't have encephalitis or whatever the fuck happened to me. <laughs> the fact that I've returned to my previous sense of humor and been witty in the first episode of regenerative anti-aging is also a testament to how I've recovered even more in the recent months. Because it's hard to be witty while being simultaneously factual. What are you up to in England, Aunt? Here, let me adjust my lipstick. I like this lipstick. It's Rimmel. They were on sale for $5 each. That is a steal. I got them in three different nude colors. Sweet, weird, fruity vanilla. I'm not wearing any other makeup. Someone said I look like my eyes um, in one of my recent shorts. Thank you. So that's in. I want to fucking draw all over you with my fucking lipstick. It's a mind fuck too. Like you can be really attractive or reasonably attractive and people will tell you you're ugly constantly. Or just because I'm not 20, they'll tell me I'm old. Like I don't look like a fucking grandma. This is real. This is my real hair color. I do have lines here. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, have a nice sleep. I'm so glad I don't live where I lived before. With the fucking toxic fucking landlord I had. And other influences. Not my son, obviously. Montreal fucking sucked. <laughs> Sorry. It really fucking did them underestimating me, not under, fuck them. It shows their fucking personal limitations. 
Hi, if you're here. I have talked about Dr. Berg several times during this broadcast, and Ian, I need to upload a video reacting to Dr. Berg's lawsuit, which he settled out of court for because he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. Nobody's picking up on it, but the fucking news media cycle or mainstream media is so inundated with Ukraine, COVID, fuck, the variants, this, that fucking economic crash that Elon Musk, that, um, of course, they're not going to report on it, which is probably reason why I should put up the video with great metadata and make it as great as possible. And my only goal is to not destroy Dr. Berg's career, but to hold him accountable and shake him up and hopefully make him realize that there's a there's problems with the way Scientology is currently practiced because it damages family members and people like Ian, who I feel sorry for. I don't want Ian to be hurt. Okay, I think we're wrapping this up soon. I have stuff I have to get done. <sighs> Play the game. Be brand friendly. Play the YouTube game. Don't offend anyone. Don't upset the algorithm. I'm yeah, whatever. I don't need to talk about that. Um fuck, I this is I'm annoyed. Not updating. Good night, Aunt. F.A., are you gone? Are you also gone, Renee? Thank you to Renee and Mojos for talking to me when nobody else would during this broadcast. It was, it was throwing me for a loop. Okay, so this is broadcast is going private. If I upload it, I'm going to edit it because I think I'll just edit it to the, its salient points and remove my other commentary. Um, thank you for supporting me. I will consider uploading Ian's video about Scientology, encouraging him to convert or deny the faith-based practice of a Muslim Scientology member that he was managing or working with. Um, just know this channel isn't Ian's. It's produced in, some of this content is produced in support of him. He's available on at Ian Rafalco everywhere. Um, this is not a Dr. Berg smear channel. It is merely hoping that I get through to Dr. Berg and that it improves his family relationship with his son and he, he helps heal his son because his son's pretty fucking hurt. Maybe I could make a video about that. Just like Dr. Berg, you hurt your son. Could you please fucking fix that? Because that's the whole point of this. And also maybe because he's an OT8 or whatever, maybe you need to reform the Church of Scientology because it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit toxic and it's expensive. Maybe it forces its members to be financially successful as a re result of its economic expectations, but no religion or pra practice, faith practice or life practice should be pay, pay to play. You know, I, I'd say that's my opinion ethically. I mean, all churches do encourage donations, maybe to solidify the value of your faith, but hundreds of thousands of dollars, like the millionaires get to ascend, but the poor people don't. That's weird. That's very classist. And I'm learning more about Scientology through all of this, right? This is also not a Scientology takedown channel, but if I encounter bullshit, I'm going to have an opinion about it or what I perceive as bullshit. Scientologists also don't debate people who do don't agree with it. Like they should. You fucking tell me why your religion is so fucking great or your lifestyle practice or ideological approach. Why are knowledge report reports not emotionally abusive? Because by all, by a lot of measures, they kind of are being constantly under the microscope in the presence of other people and having a code of ethics that you must obsessively adhere to. So it sounds like a very challenging, uh, um, emotionally unreasonable way to live. Okay, I gotta go. I love you.
Peace and love.